Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime. Today's book is Mama Miti, written by Donna Jo Napoli, illustrated by Caldecott honor winner Kadir Nelson. Mama Miti, Wangari, Mathai, and the Trees of Kenya, written by Donna Jo Napoli, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. On the highlands of Africa, near forests and plains and a huge salt lick, Wangari was born. The face of Mount Kenya smiled down on her. People told stories of how, in the old days, sometimes the sun shone too bright too long and droughts came. Creatures suffered, plants wilted, People fought. So the men held ceremonies under the mugumu, the spreading sacred fig tree, and the skies blessed them with shimmering rains to slake their thirst and water their farms. Village elders placed staffs from the figi tree between angry men, and enemies became friends. Wangari listened to these stories. That's how she came to love and respect trees. That's how she came to be wise in the tradition of her family and village, of her country and continent. When Wangari grew up, she worked in the city, but she always remembered her roots. She planted trees in her backyard and sat under them to refresh her body and spirit. One day, a poor woman came from the western valley to see the wise Wangari. Her children peeked out from behind her at the smiling woman in bright blue cloth with squiggles all through it like tadpoles squirming in a pool. I have too little food to feed my family, said the poor woman. There is no longer a job for me in the timber mill, and I have no other skills. What can I do? Wangari took the woman's hands and turned them over. She took the children's hands one by one. These are strong hands. Here are seedlings of the Mubiru Muiru tree. Plant them. Plant as many as you can. Eat the berries. Thayu Nayumba. Peace, my people. The woman and her children returned home and planted trees with their strong hands, one by one. In the years to come, when flowering season was over, the family ate the shiny, round fruits. They shared with their neighbors who carried home the seeds, planted them, and grew their own Mubiru Muiru trees. Another woman came to the wise Wangari, as poor as the first. This one traveled from the mountain in the south. Her daughters stood beside her, thin as ropes. My daughters and I walk hours every day to find firewood to cook with, said the poor woman. It takes so long. We have no time for anything else. What can I do? Wangari took the woman by the arms. These arms are strong, she said. Plant a tree. Here are seedlings of the Mukunduri. This tree makes good firewood. Plant as many as you can. Thayu Nayumba. Peace, my people. The woman and her daughters planted those seedlings. In time, the trees grew huge with many wide branches. The woman and her daughters cut branches for warmth. They shared new seedlings with their neighbors who carried them home and grew their own mukunduri trees. Word passed 
from woman to woman, until all over Kenya women knew about the wise Wangari. They came to her from every direction, one after another, as the years went by. Our goats are starving, said a woman from near the northern desert. I have barely enough food to feed my family. How can my husband feed the animals too? Plant a tree, a muhirigindi. The leaves are good animal fodder. Plant as many as you can. Thayu nayumba, peace my people. My cows are sick, said another from the savannah. I have no money to buy medicine for them. Plant a tree, a muthakwa wa athi. The leaves cure gall sickness in cattle. Thayu nayumba, peace my people. Wild animals come in the night and steal my chickens, said a woman from a fishing village. She shook her head in worry. Plant a tree, a mukawa. Its thorns will keep out predators. Thayu nayumba, peace, my people. My home fell apart, came the cry of another woman who had come all the way from the coast. We have no shelter. Plant a tree, a mulu hakula. The timber makes good building poles. Thayu nayumba, peace, my people. Wangari told women to plant murigono, whose branches make good stakes for training yam vines. She told them to plant muhuti as a living fence around their animal yards. She told them to plant muiguya, whose leaves could be wrapped around bananas to ripen them. She told them to plant moringa for the pure joy of their white flowers. And when a woman from her own village came, lamenting that the water in her stream was too dirty to drink, Wangari told her to plant Mukuyu, the giant sacred fig, the drinker of water, which acts as nature's filter to clean streams. Thayu Nayumba, peace my people. Soon, cool, clear waters teemed with black, wriggling tadpoles, like the ones on Wangari's clothes, like the ones Wangari marveled at in the waters when she was small, when Kenya was covered with trees and animals, when people lived in peace with nature. All over the countryside, the trees that had disappeared came back. Nairobi, the capital city, had been known as Kinuni, the place where there are many Minu trees. Now it was Kinuni again. Kenya was strong once more, strong and peaceful. Wangari changed a country, tree by tree. She taught her people the ancient wisdom of peace with nature. And now she is teaching the rest of the world. She is known these days as Mama Miti, the mother of trees. A green belt of peace started with one good woman offering something we can all do. Plant a tree. Thayu Nayumba. Peace, my people. This has been Mama Miti, written by Donna Jo Napoli, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. A Paula Wiseman book, published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. 
New York, New York. Text Copyright 2010 by Donna Jo Napoli. Illustrations Copyright 2010 by Kadir Nelson, Inc. Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime.